So growing up, I lived in North Carolina and our house was 1000% haunted. My sister follows me on here. Like if she sees this video, she'll corroborate my story because Jesus fucking Christ. So when I was little, my dad was overseas. He was in the military. And so then when he came home, I think I was probably like eight, maybe nine. No, I was eight. And when he came home, I was like, oh, I want to sleep in the bed with daddy. Like I want to sleep with dad. And he's like, yeah, of course. So I slept in his bed and our his door was open. And I was up that night late reading with a flashlight because I was like, oh, I'm going to blow his socks off reading this book to him. And that night I heard footsteps coming up the stairs and it was like keys jangling. And so I like go under the covers, have the covers up to here. And in the doorway, I see an apparition of my, my dad is laying next to me, but I see my dad as plain as day. Oh, it makes me sick just thinking about it. He is like a little bit transparent, like I can kind of see through him, but it's my father. It's 2000s glasses on the back of the head, spiked uh, cargo shorts with the keys on the carabiner. Like it was exactly my dad. Then he starts going, come here, come here, Vivian. It's my name, come here, Vivian. And I was like, oh way and I put my covers over my head and when I looked back out he was gone. I have so many other stories about that house but that's the one that sticks with me the most because it scared me so bad. We oh I'll tell you one I don't remember this this was told to me by my dad because I was a baby when it happened but so there is basically three stories for a house there's like the downstairs level that has a pool table like billiards and <clears throat> We are on the top floor, so three floors above that. And I'm a baby, like baby, baby, sleeping in my crib, can't get out. And then one night, my dad hears me crying and he goes to my room, crib empty, no baby. He starts freaking out, obviously. And he's searching around the house, following my cry. I'm downstairs, three stories down, on top of the pool table. I'm sat on the pool table, like holding a pool ball, crying. I'm telling you, I was probably like 14 months, 15 months. You cannot get out of your crib. Nor could I walk down all those stairs and then get on top of a pool table. Then what? <clears throat> and in that house, me and my sisters, we were on top of the stairs. They're a lot older than me and they know this story. We were on top of the stairs and we were looking down into the darkness. Nobody else was home. And we were just like playing with a bouncy ball like throwing shit down there, you know how kids are stupid. And we threw a bottle cap, a bottle cap down there and it threw back at us like, whoosh, 